Hey, my you ladies and my you gents, I'm Steven Tosher, and today is Thursday, January 2nd, 2014, which means it is week 58 of my Wayne Wednesdays. Now, uh, the reason why I'm doing it on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday is because Tuesday night was New Year's Eve. It was Jan uh, December 31st, 2013. I was out till about 5 in the morning. I ate a whole bunch of terrible food. I got up around 1. Uh, you know, horrible, horrible situation. I had to go to family again later on that Wednesday night, which was uh, yesterday, January 1st, 2014. Ate a whole bunch of food again. The whole of the summer's been, December's been like that. I've done the holiday hundred. I've tried to work out whenever I can. But by the end of last night, I felt really crummy. And I did something that I do every couple months, which is put on a whole bunch of layers and just run and jog and sweat and do push-ups and sit-ups and the exercise bowl and just work out and try and, you know, get some, get a good nice sweat on and by the end of that I felt you know I was gonna do the weigh-in video today and I didn't feel that that was legit I didn't feel like I was actually you know uh, showing you and opening up properly to my world so I just did a quick video uh, yesterday which was again Wednesday January uh, 1st 2014 which will be coming out tomorrow and it's kind of my New Year's resolution to be more honest and to be as transparent as possible as I'm learning that you know it's hard sometimes and you kind of open yourself up you know to the world well I technically haven't posted any videos yet but when the videos do get posted you know it's kind of hard you you have expectations and goals but the main thing I have to keep in my own mind and I hope you keep in your mind is being healthy and uh, yeah even though December was insane for eating and insane for keeping out my workouts you're gonna have those moments in your life and it's to stay diligent so that video will be up tomorrow so yeah let's just do a quick fat caliper uh, test today for the weigh-in Wednesdays I'm 189 pounds and I guess I'll go over my goals well, as I always do and this is 180 to stay between 185 to 190 pounds while losing you know 10% body fat now that was the original goal but that goal has shifted because to be honest with you, to lose 10% body fat, especially when you're getting into the lower percentages, it's very, very hard. And especially around this holiday season, I haven't, you know, got to the level I've wanted to with working out and to the pace that I've wanted to be at. So my new goal is now to be at third, go from 20% body fat to 13% body fat. All right, so here I am pausing this video again. I'm a year into the future on the video series, and I've just taken the time to watch all the videos again and make sure that. I'm delivering the proper information to you and I do feel once again I was reading uh, the fat caliper wrong again I'm probably still hovering at most or at best I should say around 16 percent body fat and uh, getting to you know 10 12 14 percent body fat completely unrealistic as I'm going through season two even now I, I'm probably struggling to hover around 15 percent body fat and I guess I didn't really understand at the time that really it came down to again nutrition and having a lot more protein in my diet because only having a hundred eighty to hundred grams of protein your body's barely sustaining the muscle uh, at my weight that'd be about 0 0.4 0 0.5 grams of protein per pound so you know eventually one day hopefully I will have the money to be able to you know get to that goal but I just wanted to pause the video and tell you I really do feel I did make a mistake and I do not want to mislead or misguide anybody. So probably having around 16 to 17% body fat at the time, but it's all right because I am extremely healthy and happy a year later and I loved most of the things that I've done in this series that weren't out of control, uh, moronic or stupid, which there's a few scenes with that. So uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely happy with it. So back to the video. Now, uh, about a week ago, or a couple weeks ago, when I did the fat caliper test, I was around 15%, 15.5%. I'm pretty sure I've gone up, I've gained some weight, again, a little bit more lethargic, but that's okay. All right, so the first one I'll be doing, I'll step onto the prong here, is uh, my side, or I'll do my navel test first. So my navel test, usually I'm around 22 um, millimeters, that's where I was at last time. And what I'm doing again is I'm just going in here and pinching around the fat. Now I'm pulling the fat away from my abs. <laughs> yeah, there are abs under there. Um, and all right, I've stayed at 22, which is cool. All right. Now again, uh, this test has no real relevance scientifically to anything. It's kind of a test for me. Maybe it's a test for you. Maybe you find behind your, you know, maybe your where your tricep is, or maybe there's a certain part of your body that is not the norm where you're gaining weight or losing weight. You know, maybe that's where you, you know, keep, you know, your own notes and do that. You know, like everyone does a test at some point to, 
you know, get further in life or, you know, do something great as long as it's not harmful to yourself. That's, that's really clutch. Okay. So next one I'll be doing is my hip. Last time I was around 14. I'm pretty sure I'm up to 14.5 millimeters now. You're supposed to do these tests three times because of the elasticity of your body. So, you know, do it and then wait a couple minutes, do it again, make sure you're getting an accurate reading. So for this, what I do is my navel's here. So I go from here three to four inches over. And then I go one to two inches down, depending on how big you are. I'm a bigger dude, so I go down around two inches. I pinch so that for me where the X is, I'm holding the fat here, and I'm going about a, about a half inch away from the pinch. And seems like I'm hovering around 14 and a half. That was from the test I got before. All right, so that would attribute to around 16% body fat. So that means I've gone up about 0.5% body fat. Again, it's been a really rough month. I'm healthy. I'm eating fairly good food. I just I'm eating a lot of it. So, for instance, instead of eating tons of chocolates, I eat tons of dates. <laughs> or instead of you know uh, chowing down on a bag of chips, I'm you know having an extra good hearty sandwich or some more vegetables or filling myself up with salad. And yeah, I might be gaining weight, but my skin is staying fairly clear. I have lots of energy, and it's the holiday times. You go from house to house. It is what it is. All right. So now we're going to do the three point test. Lastly. Uh, in weeks past, I was around 12 to 14, so that's what I'm going to try for again. Remember, I'm pinching and pulling away the fat here. And uh, this is reading is giving me around 12, but I actually was at 13 this morning, and I'm going to stick with that number, so 13 here. Okay, and then we're going to do the uh, side abdominal here, okay, which means that I'm going to go inch over, I'm going to grab the fat, and I'm going to pull away. This, is, this one really hurts bad. Uh, if you do it consistently and this one is hovering around 28 okay 28 millimeters and then I'm going to finally do on my thigh here and my thigh is around 13 as well so if I put those numbers into a number of tests on the internet I get around 16 percent body fat so that's where I'm at right now, 16% body fat. You know, I got as low as 15, I'm up to 16. I have essentially two months to try and shed down 3% body fat. So for myself, that's around, if 1% is around two pounds, that's hopefully shedding down six pounds of fat in about two months. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to definitely try. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please, tweet, tumble, like, share, thumbs up, plus, or do whatever you do and please subscribe.